This is a brief introduction to our two-axis machining module. I'm going to open a simple solid created in ZW3D. I could also import a solid from a wide range of other CAD platforms, CATIA, NX, or SOLIDWORKS for example. Once my model is open, I simply need to right-click and select CAM plan. Now that we're in the CAM interface, we have access to the CAM manager tree and the operations ribbon. At any time we can switch to the CAD environment and then back to the CAM plan. Now I want to add my stock. I'll be adding 0.1 inches in the positive and negative X and Y coordinates and in the positive Z coordinate. Once our stock has been added, we can hide it. Next we'll create the tool path for the top surface. Using the zigzag command, I'll add the operation defined as profile, select all the required geometry, Create a tool, in this case a 5 8 diameter cutter with a zero corner radius. Calculate the tool path. Then make one change in parameters to define the tool boundary as a 10% overhang. Recalculate, then double click the tool path to hide it. Next we'll use the spiral command for the two large pockets. I'll add the operation defined by profile, select the required geometry, then using the same tool from the previous operation, we'll change the cut order to region first, define the top and the bottom of the pockets, generate the tool path, then double click to hide it. To machine the four slots at the bottom of the round pocket, we'll add another spiral operation defined by profile. Select the geometry, then add a new tool. We'll be using a 3 8 diameter cutter with a zero corner radius. To save some time, we'll skip calculating the tool path now because we still need to define the top and bottom surface of the feature. Now click Calculate, then we'll double click to hide this toolpath. For the two long slots, we'll use a ramp cut. Just like the previous features, we'll add the operation defined by profile, select the geometry, and then we'll select our predefined 3 8 tool. Again, we'll skip the calculation step and go straight to defining the top and bottom surfaces of the slots. We also want to ensure we have the correct profile side. Then we calculate and hide the toolpath. Next we'll drill the 10 small holes. Right click on tactics in the manager tree and insert a hole tactic. Double click on features, add the geometry, then right click on the tactic and select create calculate operations. For the final operation, we'll use another ramp cut to clean up the outside of the part. We can reuse our first profile and we'll select our predefined 3 8 tool. Then we select the top and bottom of the part and then calculate. Now that we've created all the necessary operations, let's use the Verify command to see how they look. To save some time, I'll speed up the process. Once the final operation is complete, I'll exit the Verify interface to return to the solid model. The last step is to output the NC code. Under Machine Configuration, I'll select a post for a Haas 3-axis machine. Then I just need to right-click on my Operations list and select Output NC for All. This has been a brief introduction to the 2-axis machining module for ZW3D. Thank you for watching.